Hi, PGA professional Mark Panagoni at Eagle Ridge Golf Academy in Summerfield, Florida, here on the beautiful and lush Eagle Ridge Golf Academy tee box, working on my driver. I'm going to talk today about the downswing, what you want to think about when you start your downswing. I get that question a lot. I think often people are told to, to make sure that they turn to face the target. I do believe that, that you will turn to face the target on a good swing. However, I think if you focus on turning, you can get in trouble. I think the first step on the downswing, or the first move, is that you slide your hips to the left. That will vacate that space right there over your right foot so that you can swing the club in from inside. If your first move on the downswing is to rotate, now you haven't vacated, you've just moved, and your body's still in the way on the right side, your club will be thrown outward across the target line, and you will automatically have to swing over the top in order to hit the ball. So it's a false idea of clearing out by, by rotating your hips. Your hips must slide first, then your swing comes through, and once you're slid over to your left foot and you've hit the ball, then you'll rotate to the target. So if you want to think about it in those terms, you can say, well, I need to, I need to slide or shift first and then rotate. But I, I firmly believe that if you, if you slide your body over to your left hip, left hip like this, once you've hit that ball, that you're going to pivot on your, your front hip, which is a ball and socket joint, and you will automatically rotate. So you don't have to really think about rotating to the target as much as you need to make sure you slide or shift forward. So the shift would look like this, and now your club is in the so-called slot, and you're going to hit from inside, and then you'll have a powerful path into the ball, and you'll automatically follow through. Plus the slide to your left foot creates a good position for your body and therefore you will not cause back strain as opposed to this position which actually takes my breath occasionally um, because you're not rotating on your hip joints when you don't slide to one of them therefore you're going to rotate on your lower back and it's going to cause pain and twisting of your back if you rotate on your hip by sliding to it first then it's a very free rotation which actually creates power, but it also is better for your back. So set up to your shot. On your downswing, make sure you're, you're moving laterally and not turning until you've hit the ball. And then finish your swing. And when you're finished with your swing, you should be completely shifted to your left foot with your chest, your belly button, and everything almost past your left foot so that about 95% of your weight is onto the left foot, and the only thing left is maybe your ankle and your foot back there. You gotta let it all go forward. That keeps your back from getting injured, and it creates a good swing as well. If you need a little help with this, visit playeagleridgegolf.com and go to the instruction part, and you can find uh, Meg Park and myself there, our information, email address, phone numbers, contact us, set up a lesson or a program and get your game turned around. We have new programs all the time, so go there and check it out, see what's going on, and give us a call or an email and set up a lesson and get your, get your shift in the right direction.